بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل وسلم على حبيبنا المصطفى سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين الحمد لله my dear brothers and sisters may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant every one of us a very happy harmonious life in this world because we are appointed we are created here to show to spread to feel what is peace and stability every individual has his own or her own role to establish peace within himself or within herself this is there is no doubt about that every individual has been prescribed certain rules and regulation to follow to establish peace within him or to spread peace to others this is what uh, we understand from the objective of human life on earth uh, the objective of human life on earth is to please the creator creator created us with an objective creator wanted all of us live together in a harmonious uh, human family on earth when i mention family it starts uh, from the individual perspective a man marries a woman then they start their uh, family life is very clear and every one of us knew according to the law of the creator all of us have a purpose of life man must marry woman and uh, woman must not be marrying a woman or male or men must not be marrying a man if they do the, the in that perspective there is no uh, result of their life so islam always prescribe every one of us an objective of every movements or every action we do marriage there is an objective it must be started with the in the permission or with the permission of the creator and uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala established the laws regulations how to establish marriage relationship and its bonds now a very beautiful topic today that inshallah we can just go into as an introductory point after this inshallah we can continue its episodes continuation inshallah we knew that um, polygamy men marry more than one wife very hot topic everywhere discussions are going on some may agree some may not agree you know it is actually um, a history behind it from what situation polygamy established in islam before islamic history there was different history in the world there were other populations other people other believers other beliefs and faith culture and civilization they all have their own way of life according to their perspectives according to their faith according to their tradition etc we today in our episode focus on islam islam permits men to marry a woman that also with laws and regulation islam accept or islam established marriage as a family institution marriage with a purpose a man marrying a woman with a purpose to fulfill an objective that actually very pure very genuine and it is sacred so marriage in islam is sacred act which must be started by the permission of the creator islam respect woman honor woman and gives a high dignity for woman islam gives freedom for the woman based on justice alhamdulillah so islam is not to be criticized just because islam gives permission for polygamy we must know the historical background of polygamy uh, 
you know there was a man in the history can have uncountable numbers of life partners uncountable numbers of sex partners but from this kinds of unlimited or in other way we can say cruel activity cruel actions towards women islam stopped islam put an end to these kinds of slavery that the woman must listen to the man woman must listen to the man but with godly revealed instruction if the man provide her justice so what is justice it could be defined it must be studied it must be explained in its context itself so man is a leader in fam- islamic uh, family institution and he is the person to fulfill the justice okay so when we knew that uh, a baby girl born in a family she must be protected she must be honored equally as a baby boy there was a time in arab history we can see we just focus on islamic area so i just uh, would like to share with you arab history there are incident if a mother pregnant lady she deliver a baby girl she must bury she must kill the baby girl just because she born as a baby girl such a dishonest cruelty was practiced during the time they have their own justification why they do that it is not practiced in all the tribes but most of the tribes it was a culture for them and the quran explains this in a very clear it is against the dignity of the husband or the father to be known as the uh, father of a baby girl and he will be isolated from the society just because his wife delivered a baby girl so sociologically the father is dishonored because he has been granted a baby girl so this was the situation of uh, pre islamic history and also hundreds of example how they used to uh, act such immoral or cruelty against the uh, girls women and uh, even though they practiced the marriage the marriage was not according to the law of nature or according to the law and regulation basically to fulfill the justice justice was n- not known justice was ignored a kind of stone age power can destroy the weak so sociologically they were in unstable and uh, there was no balanced from all these kinds of turmoil this kinds of situation Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appointed the final messenger to reform the uh, he, the land of where our prophet born first of all after that he was uh, spreading the mission to the entire mankind to the entire universe okay so basically uh, there are historical background we must study to understand the beauty of islamic family or islamic marriage institution